We'll need an engine to take us there. Oh, oh, me, sir. Maybe I could take you, sir. Please pick me. I would be honored to take you both, sir. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not all at once. If it's that important, you should be carried by a really splendid engine like me, sir. <laughs> Typical James. Always trying to get the best jobs. I know. And the mayor lives on my branch line near Suttery. Well, James was the first to speak up, so he gets the job. Oh, thank you, sir. Just so long as you get the rest of your work done in time, James. I won't let you down, sir. But as the day went on, his bright, shiny red paintwork got dirtier and dirtier. Oh, oops! Sorry, James! <laughs> and James got more and more fed up. Here's James! Oh. Hey! Uh, oh. Ames was exhausted, but excited, having been cleaned up at the washdown. Hmm. What is it? Um, uh, nothing, James. Just, uh, just a little scratch on your paintwork. Oh, a scratch. A scratch? That isn't nothing! I, I can't pick up the mirror looking like this! I have a special job tonight, and I need to be repainted right now. But your paint won't be dry. Don't worry. I thought about that. It's a very windy evening, so that, plus my speed, should dry my paint in no time. Please, Victor, I don't want to let Sir Topham head down. Well, all right, my friend, if you're sure. <sighs> Here's Jane. What? What's the matter? Oh, James, your paintwork. Oh, I should have ignored that little scratch. I can't pick up the mare looking like this. Edward, I don't suppose. <clears throat> Could you take the mare to the ball for me, please? Oh, I'd be happy to, James. <laughs> 